But yeah, I got a um, I got an email from you. Told me you advised me to delete it. It's, it's so weird how sometimes you become like my dad. Like there's so many times where you're like, you should probably delete it. And I'm like, well, Not so no, many. that was like the one time. No, there was another something. time you were very dead. Oh, why did you make this TikTok about Dixie and Noah? Because I'm, I'm like, trying to protect you, you. Don't you understand? Um, they're sometimes James Charles, a predator. I think no, but it's you fine. no, but you weren't talking about James Charles. You were attacking their relationship, and I was like, yeah, because it's there's fake. No point. It's like they're promoting James. I'll attack Based it all they want. What? If you support a P word, then I don't care how I attack okay, you. Okay, let me show the TikTok way, in question. Okay. Because you didn't take my advice. Um, you said I should probably delete it, but I. Is this it? I see. Is this it? <sighs> okay. Wait, should we not put this? Because then we'll get the cease and desist, maybe. Well, well, it's already up on your TikTok. It wasn't a cease and desist. It was just a letter. No, I'll delete no, it. Maybe I'm I fine. delete it. Oh, <laughs> but then this so will be up forever if I delete it. Yeah. They can't. I mean, it's already up on your take TikTok. Take me to prison for this. Nobody could sue you. <laughs> for what, though? Because I'm commenting on a For, video? I don't, actually, I don't think he has any grounds to sue you because what you're alleging isn't something very specific. So I don't think he could sue you. I'm not alleging. I, I'm saying it's gross, the joke he made about... Let's watch. It? Okay. But this will be up forever is what I'm saying. So then the lawyers will probably give you a letter to say take this down on what you just edited out. Well, no, because I think the context of the conversation is important because I disagree. I don't think you should put this video up. Also, is litigation different than lawyers? They said this is so and so from Bob Saget's litigation. It means they're going to sue you. Don't they have to do a cease and desist? No, they don't have to do anything. They can sue you anytime they want. I mean, I'll take it. I have lawyers on a retainer, I guess. So, whatever. Could you imagine I go to court fighting this? Well, I don't like the joke he made. It's disgusting. I don't think that's like a crime. So, no, I don't. I, don't, I say it to the judge. I, I'm telling gross. you, I don't think he has a case of defamation against you because. It's you're not specifically saying, oh, he's this. But I do think that. Well, let's let's go ahead and watch the TikTok. OK, but Are this will be on Frenemies forever. So I don't want you to get sued now. By no, you I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. OK, I can always snip it if I need to. But I don't I don't think it's like that. OK, here we go. Freaking thrilled that people are getting called out. We started with Weinstein. Um, should have started with Woody Allen, who got away with so much disgusting crap. So I'm going to keep calling it out. And I'm so glad Bob Saget is now on the table because <sighs> story so, about Bob Saget. So pause. I do have, it's not my story to tell, but I do have like a personal friend that was like a close friend of mine that had an incident with Bob Saget. That wasn't a good incident. So mm -hmm. I do have some sort of personal, I guess, like connection to this. Like a lot of times people get called out and like, it's not that I don't call out everybody, but this one I was like, wow, okay, good. Like people are like noticing this. You know what I mean? Because this girl had a, a thing, but she got silenced real quick. Not through money or anything, but just scared, like most people do, right? You get a ladder and you're like, oh, shit, you know? Dude, Bob um, Saget is super fucking rich. Like, he's, like, crazy rich. He's worth, like, $200 million How? From Full House, I think. Because that show was, like, such a big deal. And he was on America's Funniest Home Videos. Like, in the 90s, he was a big deal. He is super fucking rich. Really? Dude. Oh, $50 million? That's not as rich as I thought. He's not Kylie Jenner level. No, he's not paid for your brain surgery, Rich. <laughs> Oh, he's not. I thought he was worth like 200 million. Well, fuck. Well, yeah, I, was like, Hi. I mean, that's rich. Don't get me wrong. 50 million. He was clapping with Jamie Kennedy. He's not that rich. So, so anyway, you're comparing him. So Woody Allen. I wasn't Allen. comparing him. I said, I like seeing uh, people. You said. There was no insinuation that's like. Okay, wait. Let's, look who's let's start over. Harvey Weinstein wasn't a P word. He just. <sighs> well, no, but he out. was. He was R word. Okay. But Woody Allen. Was P -word. a P word and R word. Right. Let's watch this again. Called out, and I'm so freaking thrilled that people are getting called out. Started with Weinstein, um, should have started with Woody Allen, who got away with so much disgusting crap. So I'm gonna keep calling it out, and I'm so glad Bob Saget is now on the table because so you're putting him in the company of Weinstein and Allen. You see what I'm saying? But that's not what I was insinuating. If that's how you take it, that's literally, and I'll say it now, that is not what I was insinuating. But the joke he made was so gross. Okay. Also, it was trending on TikTok and Twitter. So everyone was like, comment about sure, TikTok. You're not the only one. Saying. Yeah. So that, again, it's like the Dixie eating the snail thing. Everyone was like, Trisha, talk about this. Trisha. And at like, this moment, I was doing a string of Q&As. This was the day I came over to your house to have dinner. I do like, find it, I, it is really interesting that like Bob Saget's legal team saw this. Like so quick, too. I got yeah. it within like a day. They must have been sending it to a lot of people on TikTok. I, did a lot Probably. of other people remove their videos? They said they did. Huh. That letter was like. Really yeah, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to deal with the sag. But I'm not. I, I can give an opinion. Like if no, the joke's disgusting. But like, let's, what? let's watch the whole thing. Okay, he's let's a just public watch. figure. 
the stories about Bob Saget. Of Ashley and Mary Kate for Michelle, uh, as a three year old kid, they oh. gave me a doll to talk to for rehearsal. That, you know, and I just threw it on the bed and I just started pretending, you know, that oh I was like, that doll. By the way, you know, Bob Saget is like a shock comic. Like every, his whole career is. Surrounded about saying shock and humor. but I humor. do think there's like a line that you don't cross. I think like joking about, and I, even with Shane, I think like, I like when I really evaluated like all the stuff he did, like as jokes, it's like crossing the line. You don't have to say this was a three-year-old actress that it was supposed to be. And I'm pretending to, you know. This that, isn't evidence that he committed any crime. I'm not saying it's an evidence. I think there's no, there's certain lines you shouldn't cross about kids, children. You shouldn't joke about having sex with a three-year-old. Okay. So hold doll, on. Doll or finish. otherwise. It's disgusting. He also married someone 30 years his junior, which can just tell a lot about a person. The power play, the manipulation, all of that. Bob Saget is disgusting and also deserves to be canceled. I know he's irrelevant now, but really call out shit. I know it's hard to speak up, but if you can, yeah, you, you didn't slander other him. people. You and that was also him. my call to this. You definitely didn't slander him. And this girl that had an issue with him, like a serious one, and through laugh, at, like, well, I won't say where, through a comedy club, um, like, she, uh, she's, she was just too scared. She got silenced, and I was like, so that's why, I, I, look, here's the thing, I'm never gonna, like, if people aren't comfortable coming out their story, just like those girls in the David video, like, I'm never gonna be like, do it, because I was silent for so long, but I always, like, encourage people to, but because people have money, like you said, you're like, Bob said, it's really rich, don't go against him, it's like, and I get that, because now I have money, and I can fight it, well, but a lot of people don't. that's not the money. Okay, but on the same go. note, about people who are like, well, if James Charles did this, why didn't they press charge? or why didn't David Dobrik get sued? It's like a lot of people, one, don't have the money, two, are too scared because people more rich are going to win because they have the money to fight it. It's like, it's such a scary, you can't just like sue, like you should be able to, but you can't. It's not that easy. A lot of people who don't have money can't just do lawsuits against people if they don't have the money, like, so I hate that excuse. It's like, if the, like, like Jeff, he goes, well, if this is a legal case, it's like, well, a lot of people just can't do it. But bringing awareness to it is, you know, just as. But again, you're, impactful. you're com the problem I had with this video, which you can disagree with me and say, but I think it comes off as you comparing Bob Saget, who there, who's made a joke against people who are actual, you know, uh, criminals, like terrible, have done terrible things. And so I think just in this day and age, you have to be, you have to be really careful about who you say that of because it has so much weight. How about instead of Bob lawyers law, or Bob Saget's lawyers sending me a note, how about they have him issue a two minute apology for this joke? Because it's dude, not like in 2021, it's not it, you. Bob Saget's whole career is jokes like this. He can't apologize okay, for this one joke. That's He's like going to have to apologize about Shane, for his whole about career. There are some things that you just don't joke about. Dude, you don't understand every fucking thing he says is something this offensive. And then Literally. you should be canceled because it's okay, like perpetuating like this whole, it's a I'm whole other he world. can't just apologize for this one joke. You don't understand. <laughs> well, it's he his should. Whole career. So if, that, if those are out there and this is what his career is and I have every right to comment on it and say it's disgusting. Like I agree, but I don't think you should insinuate that he's a I wasn't criminal. insinuating. That's what you took from it. And I, I, I'll say right now, I'm telling you what I, my okay, intent no, was not I, insinuating. I, I hear you. My intent was I, this Harvey Weinstein had thing happen. I'm watching the Woody Allen documentary right now, which is gross, which Jerry Seinfeld, for you defending Woody Allen, you're also disgusting. Anyone, Diane Keaton defending Woody Allen, like anyone defending still Woody Allen is so gross. The fact that Jerry- He didn't well, defend him. He said- he th he said like oh I will never someone said to Jerry Seinfeld I'll never watch a Woody Allen movie again he's like oh you can't you can't separate the artist from the art I can no problem and I agree it's like dude it's like I think this is a situation where you a little like, too flippant about this dude who basically R worded his own daughter but Jerry Seinfeld also dated a seventeen year old and didn't think a problem with that so I guess that's again once again showing the kind of person he is as a huge Jerry Seinfeld fan Canceled. I think that. <laughs> Take your finger off the cancel button a little bit. I know. I'm getting a little cancel. Just happy. like, okay, yeah. Okay. Just, I'm going to get canceled just again. Next. Leave the button on the table. Look. But just slip away a little bit. Okay. okay. I love Jerry right. Seinfeld. I think that. I was also disturbed by his like, oh, I can separate. It's like, dude, you can, like, I understand how you want to separate the art from the artist sometimes, but like, read the room a little bit on this one. Like, I mean, I personally am not watching any Woody Allen movies after I watched that right. documentary, which was outlined some of the most horrific abuse I've ever heard in my life. And people just continuing to praise him. I mean, it was Stephen Colbert who was talking to him too. You know, Stephen Colbert is pretty liberal, right? Oh, yeah. So it's like, this is coming from someone of your own, like, people, all right? You're both on the same side of like politics and stuff. It's like, why wouldn't you be like, yeah, that's. But also the way he said it was like, oh yeah, no problem. 
I no, was he's like, like oh, no. Yeah. What, what Stephen Colbert said was, he goes, I can't separate the art, you know, from the art. And he's like, he goes, really? You can't? Like, just so, like, what? Yeah, Why would you? Just it. so. Seinfeld, Woody, Alan, Colbert. Seinfeld should have been canceled when he did that Coffees and Cars show. Like, just end it. Just stop oh, it. Oh, here it is. Not, Wait, no, this folks, is from three uh, years ago. What the F? I know. That's what I'm saying. It's all recent. Wait. Uh, my first guest on the show oh, tonight. Oh, but this has is- nothing to do with the documentary. No, these, it was shown these, in the alleg- these allegations that were in the documentary have been around for years. Yeah, it's not new information. Wait, they're talking about Bill Cosby. It says no, but he talks about he talks about Woody Allen in this too because they showed it in the Woody Allen documentary. It's they ten minutes clip. long. Oh, they did. Yeah, oh, that's okay. how I saw it. Is the man responsible for some? Well, I'm not going to watch a whole ten minute clip. <laughs> they are when they yeah. would meet. It's always oh. oh, they are. Fuck you, Colbert. <sighs> Fuck you. Okay, problematic people oh, back to me. being called. So anyway. Out. I'm not deleting it. I can have an opinion it's on it. I agree. Uh, I agree. Show. I was just, listen, I, I, I agree. You didn't defame him. I do think people should be canceled for certain jokes. Like, I definitely am on that side of the thing. Like, I think if you're not going to apologize, like, if you're not going to apologize for it, like you said, that's his shock factor. Shane Dawson used that same excuse. Like, oh, I was a shock. I was doing stuff for shock content. And I get it too, but at least just like apologize. I mean, don't you've... repeat the mistakes. Like, don't do it again. Keep doing it. I wouldn't do the stuff I said in 2014 now. Like, it's 2021. Like, stop. Look, he's Bob Saget. Ugh. Who's that? Like, who cares? <laughs> I had him on the sh- podcast. Oh, really? <laughs> a long time ago. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. You did? I never saw that one because I see a lot of your... I went to go to see who's the most famous person on your podcast, and I never saw Bob Saget on there. His, his sh- The episode didn't get that many views. How was People he? didn't care. Um, um, He was fine, right, Dan? Yeah. He was nice. It was fun. Was he on? For, was he shocking in person? Was he like a shock um, comic in person? It wasn't that. He, ne- he didn't say anything remember. that outrageous or anything, no. It was a good time, though. Yeah, when, he, was, he was he was affable. He was funny. How yeah. long ago was it? Oh, it was a long time. It was like time. three years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. So were you like popping off on your podcast like what? The first year? The second year? Like when was like H3 like, whoa, the podcast? Because you had Jack Black. You had like a lot of big people on. I've always been popping off. I'm a huge deal. <laughs> Ever And since that Vape Nation video came out five years ago, before <laughs> and after. Well, that Vape Nation didn't do as well on your H3 today that it did back then. It only has like 650,000 or something like that. Hmm? The podcast that you did, the I'm Selling Vape Nation, it didn't get the same amount of views as you would think from a 30 million viral video would get. Like it didn't get a million views is what I'm saying. So like it's not as... It's old. Same. But you put it up in recently. You said, I'm Selling Vape Nation. Yeah, so what? Which okay, is the so, podcast. but I know, but you said it was like your most big thing, right? Yeah, I've been talking about Vape Nation like a billion times. Like it's not new news. I've I've like talked about Vape Nation a trillion times. Okay, so what I'm saying is, is like when was your era that you were popping like on H3? Like when those were going around viral? when I made that video. <laughs> Which was when? I don't know. 20, five years 2015, ago. 2015, 2016. 2016 or 2019? 2015 or 16. And yeah. then Bob Saget was on around the same time. So it was all. No, cool. Bob Saget no, came out years after. So your podcast because comes I out stopped, after I Vape stopped, Nation. I stopped making, I stopped making H three videos, and I started doing the podcast. That was Why? like because I didn't like doing those videos anymore. That was. All- 